Jessica, you can't be serious. Oh yes, I am daddy. I was telling you the 100% truth about what happened earlier, and my own parents not believing me has caused me so much mental anguish. Ergo, that's why I'm suing for damages. And just what are you suing your own parents for? Well mother, you know how you guys give me a $5 allowance every Friday? I want that quadrupled. Now, I want it to be $20. That should about cover it. Plus, I have evidence that proves I was not lying. What evidence? Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You'll find that out in court. Okay Mr. Python. Let's start. Very well. Pick up, pluck up, pick a pock a pook, uh, pick a pick, got ka, goey, goey, gee do. What in blazes? How did you do that? The Honorable Judge Beer is now presiding. All rise. Judge who? I said, stop the music. Hey all you super cool dudes and dudettes of the jury. Today's case is, Jessica Andrews versus her parents. In this case, the plaintiff, Jessica, claims that the defendants, Jerry and Kate Andrews, sent Jessica to her room for lying about her baby sister, Ashley Andrews, hurting herself while dancing on the couch. Mr. Python, do you wish to make an opening statement? Yes, Your Honor. The evidence will prove that my client did not cause her baby sister to fall while dancing on the couch. That the toddler did indeed fall as a result of losing her balance and that my client was unfairly punished by her parents even after she told them exactly what happened, the way she saw it. Mr. Python, please call your witness. I call Jessica Andrews. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Please state your full name. Jessica, Denise, Andrews. Can you describe the events leading up to your sister bumping our head on the evening in question? Yes. Before Ashley and I sat down on the couch to watch music videos, I set up my smartphone on a table to film us. So as we were sitting there, the music video of a song Ashley likes had started playing. She stood up on the couch and began to dance. I warned her twice to stop dancing on the couch, because she would fall and get hurt. But she continued dancing. That was when she lost her balance on the cushion and fell. I didn't push her down, or cause her in any way to fall. I even told this to my parents, but they refused to believe me and got angry and sent me to my room. In our defense your honor, Jessica has lied to us several times before about doing something to Ashley just to make her cry. We assumed this was just another one of those times. This time, I told them exactly what happened. And I have video evidence of the entire thing to show that I indeed was telling the truth. Your Honor, I want to show the court this evidence. Miss Andrews, is this your mobile device? Yes it is. And did you use this same device to video yourself and your sister sitting on the couch watching TV? Yes I did. Does the video footage on this device show the incident in its entirety? Including your confessing the truth to your parents? Yes it does. Let me see it. The footage on this mobile device does indeed show that the plaintiff told the exact truth about the incident, and that her parents blatantly disregarded her confession and punished her unfairly, despite having no evidence of any wrongdoing on her part. It's the court's decision that the plaintiff be given a raise in her weekly allowance to $20. That's all. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. That is such bullshit. Woohoo. I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. $20 allowance baby, that's what I'm talking about. Wait till I tell Julie. She'll be so jealous.
Well, stranger things have happened.